Michael Petaway Tomlin Lifestyle and Net Worth Michael Petaway Tomlin, born on March 15, 1972, is an American football coach who is the head coach for the Pittsburgh Steelers of the National Football League NFL. Since joining the Steelers in 2007, he has led the team to 10 playoff runs, 7 division titles, 3 AFC Championship games, 2 Super Bowl appearances, and a title in Super Bowl 43. At age 36, Tomlin became the youngest head coach to win the Super Bowl, a record which was later beaten by Sean McVay in Super Bowl 56. Tomlin has never had a losing record during his 16 seasons as a head coach, which is the longest current streak in the NFL. Mike Tomlin has a net worth of approximately $16 million. He is known for his stylish appearance, his passion for fashion, and his down-to-earth personality. Tomlin is also a strong advocate for social justice. He is 5 feet 7 inches tall, which is approximately 1.75 meters tall. That being said, let's touch down. Mike Tomlin Early Life and Real Estate Tomlin was born in Hampton, Virginia, and he is the youngest son. His brother, Eddie, is three and a half years older. Their father, Ed Tomlin, played football at Hampton Institute in the 1960s, and he was drafted by the Baltimore Colts, and later played for the Montreal Alouettes in the Canadian Football League. He died in January 2012 from an apparent heart attack in Ocala, Florida, at the age of 63. However, Tomlin hardly knew his birth father as he was raised by his mother and stepfather, Julia and Leslie Copeland, who married when Tomlin was six years old. Tomlin graduated in 1990 from Denby High School in Newport News, Virginia. He graduated from the College of William and Mary with a sociology degree in 1995, becoming a member of Kappa Alpha Psi fraternity. As a wide receiver, Tomlin was a second-team All-Yankee Conference selection in 1994. Mike Tomlin owns a luxury home in the affluent Squirrel Hill neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The home is estimated to be worth over $2 million. Tomlin also owns a vacation home in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. In 2018, Tomlin purchased a 2,200-square-foot condo in the South End neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts for $2.2 million. The condo is located in a luxury building that offers stunning views of the city skyline. Tomlin's real estate portfolio reflects his success as a head coach in the NFL. He is one of the highest paid coaches in the league, and he has earned a significant fortune over the course of his career. Mike Tomlin Personal Life Mike Tomlin, the head coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers, leads a fulfilling life both on and off the football field. His personal life is deeply rooted in family and community values. Mike is married to Kia Winston, and together they have three children, Michael Dean, Mason Tomlin, and Harlan Quinn. Their love story began at the College of William and Mary, where they were both students. Kia Winston, a talented gymnast, and Mike Tomlin, a wide receiver for the football team, found each other during their college years. They tied the knot in 1996, and their strong bond has endured ever since. Kia is not only a supportive spouse but also a successful professional in her own right. She is a fashion designer with her clothing line, aptly named, Kia Winston. Beyond her career, she is a committed philanthropist actively involved in various charitable organizations. The Tomlins have chosen to make their home in the Squirrel Hill neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where they reside in a luxury home. Known for their strong community ties, they frequently attend Steelers games and participate in local events, demonstrating their unwavering support for the city and its people. In addition to his coaching career, Mike Tomlin is a man of faith. He attends a Christian and Missionary Alliance church, where his devotion to his beliefs is evident in his life choices. Moreover, he is a vocal advocate for social justice, using his platform to address pressing issues such as racism and police brutality. Mike's commitment to making a positive impact on society extends beyond the football field, demonstrating the depth of his character and values. Mike Tomlin Professional Career Mike Tomlin's illustrious professional career has been marked by a trajectory of success and a steadfast commitment to social justice. 
His journey began in 1995 when he embarked on a coaching path at Virginia Military Institute, well known as VMI, where he assumed the role of wide receivers coach. After a single season at VMI, his passion for coaching led him to the University of Memphis in 1996, where he served as a graduate assistant, honing his skills and knowledge of the game. The year 1997 marked a significant turning point in Tomlin's coaching odyssey as he joined the coaching staff at Arkansas State University. Initially tasked with coaching wide receivers, his impressive coaching acumen quickly garnered recognition, resulting in his promotion to defensive backs coach in 1998. This transition demonstrated Tomlin's versatility as a coach, showcasing his ability to adapt to different aspects of the game. In 1999, Tomlin further solidified his coaching expertise by moving to the University of Cincinnati, where he assumed the role of coaching the defensive backs for two seasons. His tenure at various collegiate institutions not only enriched his coaching experience but also prepared him for the challenges of coaching at the highest level. In 2001, Mike Tomlin achieved a career milestone by making his NFL debut as the defensive backs coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Over five seasons in Tampa Bay, Tomlin played a crucial role in the Buccaneers' defensive prowess, culminating in their Super Bowl 37 victory in 2003. This achievement underscored his growing reputation as a rising star in the coaching world. In 2006, Tomlin's expertise was recognized once again when he was appointed as the defensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings. During his tenure in Minnesota, the Vikings' defense thrived, ranking fifth in the NFL in points allowed. Tomlin's ability to craft formidable defensive units solidified his status as a top coaching prospect. However, it was on January 22, 2007, that Mike Tomlin achieved a remarkable milestone in his coaching career. Mike Tomlin, the youngest head coach in the NFL, became the first African-American head coach in Steelers history. Under his leadership, the Pittsburgh Steelers achieved remarkable success, leading to 10 playoff appearances in 16 seasons, 7 division titles, 3 AFC Championship games, and 2 Super Bowl appearances. Tomlin's unique coaching style, blending toughness and fairness, has earned him immense respect from players, peers, and fans. He is also a dedicated advocate for social justice, speaking out against racism and police brutality. Tomlin supports the Black Lives Matter movement and raises awareness on his platform. In 2010, Tomlin signed a three-year contract extension with the Pittsburgh Steelers, which had an impressive 12-4 record. The team reached the Super Bowl for the second time in three years but fell short. In 2011, Tomlin reached his 50th win as head coach, joining an elite group in franchise history. However, the team suffered an early exit from the playoffs, losing to the Denver Broncos in the wild card round. In 2012, the Steelers finished with an 8-8 record due to injuries and adjustments to a new offensive coordinator. In 2013, Tomlin faced controversy when he was involved in a sideline incident during a game against the Baltimore Ravens, leading to a $100,000 fine. The team finished with an 8-8 record and missed the playoffs. In 2014, Tomlin led the Steelers to a 11-5 record and another AFC North title, but their playoff journey ended in the wild card round. In 2015, the Steelers earned a playoff berth with a 10-6 record but were eliminated in the divisional round. In 2016, Tomlin guided the team to an 11-5 record and another AFC North title, but the season ended with a loss to the New England Patriots in the AFC Championship game. In 2018, the team finished with a 9-6-1 record but missed the playoffs. In 2019, the Steelers faced challenges, including the loss of starting quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger. In 2020, Tomlin was fined for not wearing a face mask during the COVID-19 pandemic, but the team made the playoffs but exited in the wild card round. In 2022, Tomlin signed a three-year contract extension, but the team finished to a 9-8 record and missed the playoffs. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.